Good morning students. Today we will have a comparative study of striated muscles, smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. If you go back and focus on this diagram of striated, smooth and cardiac muscle, it will be quite clear to you. You can see in case of the striated muscles, it is having styrations and that too dark styrations. Styrations are the light and dark bands which are present. And nucleus is also there. Nucleus and it is considered to be multinucleated. Shape you can see is cylindrical shape. It has got a cylindrical shape. In case of smooth muscles, they look like this. They have got a spindle shape. This is called spindle shape. And here in case of cardiac muscles, they are also having uh, cylindrical shape but they are branched at the same time as you can see here striated muscle they are not branched individually if you want to see the diagrams so this one is the cardiac muscle cylindrical multinucleated but they are branched these are the smooth muscles or non striated spindle shaped uh, having one nucleus uninucleated and they don't have striations and this is smooth muscle, sorry, striated muscle. And here you can see the striations. Striations are present here. These are the striations and nucleuses are also there. So it is multinucleated with striations. Now, Coming back to the comparative study of all three muscles, you can see here in the given picture that the striated muscles, they are present in your limbs. Limbs means hands and legs, then tongue, then body wall and pharynx also. So at least remember limbs and body wall. Then smooth muscles or unstriated, they are present in the internal organs. So they are called visceral muscles also. They are present in the wall of elementary canal. Elementary canal is the digestive tract, blood vessels, then respiratory tract and urinary bladder means all internal organs. Then here cardiac muscle is present in the heart. Now regarding the shape, striated muscles, they have got the cylindrical shape, unstriated spindle shape and again here cardiac, they are also having cylindrical Plus they are branched also. Now if you see which one is branched and unbranched. So I have kept a different category. Here striated they are unbranched. They are again unbranched and here they are branched muscles. Now related to number of nucleus. So here they are multinucleated, uni and uninucleated. Now you see the Striated muscles, they have got a rapid contraction. Their contraction and relaxation is rapid. Here you see they have got a slow contraction and if you see the last one is having a rhythmic contraction. Rhythmic means in rhythm. So last one is having a rhythmic contraction. So this is how it happens. If you see in case of striated muscle, these muscles, uh, next one. So these muscles, first one, you can see the striated muscles here, they are voluntary, means they act according to our will. Whatever we want, it can be, that work can be taken from them. So that is called voluntary muscle. They act according to our will. And these two, because this one is internal, this is present in the internal organ, so this is present in the heart. So they are involuntary, they don't act according to our will. Then this one. Second uh, last point is that uh, striated muscle they get fatigued means they get tired because of their fast and rapid contraction and this one smooth muscles they do not get fatigued they work throughout our life last one also they do not get fatigued they are the internal uh, they have to take care of the internal organs and internal organs work throughout our life and they do not get tired fatigue means tired. Now last function, last point is function, this one, the striated muscle, they cause movement in the limbs. Limbs means hands and legs. So they are responsible for the movement. 
uh, and locomotion then this one it helps in movement of the internal organs and this one causes the heart beat so this was the difference between all three now here we can draw the diagram simple one so this one is the striated muscles having the striations and with the nucleus the peripheral nucleus peripheral means on the periphery then this one is the smooth muscles no striation spindle shaped and cardiac muscles are there which are branched considered to be branched so these are the branch muscles striations are present but they are considered to be very faint here the striations are very dark but here the striations are very faint and nucleus is also present so this is how they look like thank you very much revise